strength and matchups are key. Jalen McManus with the hook in the lane makes it 8 0 College of Charleston. Darling trying to answer and stop the bleeding, and he does. For College of Charleston. So three new subs in there. Riller stays out there along with Miller. Darling with a tough shot. Can't get it to go. Epps with the rebound. Galloway got free on the screen because. Delaware didn't communicate and didn't jump out. So even though he missed a shot, it created a missed opportunity rebound. <laughs> Nate Darling, strong D.C. area representation on this Delaware team. Throw ahead to Darling. He's going to track it down. Can he get it in? He does. It would have been offensive goaltending either way. Key for Delaware. Yeah, Riller just under 22 points a game, as we mentioned before, third all-time in the conference in scoring. There's Darling, another big score, but his shot's blocked by Galloway. Running that guy full, <laughs> full steam. Better have a mouthpiece in. Yeah. Darling corner three, and he buries it. Well, he made it. Back out. Anderson fakes it. He's going to dribble it back out. Nice cross court pass to Darling. It was wide open, and Darling with the runner doesn't go, but Mutz with the rebound of the. Delaware looking to add to their four point advantage. Mutz, nice pass to Darling, who cuts in for the easy reverse layup. Well, Nate Darling, from the top step back, tries to create the contact, just gets it off the front rim. Oh, where you're happy with the way the game is going in terms of Riller. Darling with the runner, and that's not going to go. Tip up is going to be Mutz and Goss for Delaware. Darling with the runner. And the putback from Mutz throws it dead. Of the Charles College of Charleston Cougars. Darling for three, and he's got it. You know, he's a big game player as well, and Galloway's the kind of guy who, the game winds down, he gets more aggressive. Darling back at him. He's got 20. And the Cougars not going away. Darling's going to make something happen. Just seven on the clock. He's saying clear out. Four, pulls up for the three. Buries it! 4.35 to go. Delaware with a nine-point lead. Darling with a wide open look again. This one, though, is not going to go, but rebound from Payne. Past the first line of defense, and they were prepared to slow him down when he got to the rim. Hand off to Darling. Here could be a dagger three, potentially, but no, off the run. To yeah. cut it back to 10. Now, Coach Grant telling his team, look, we got to start pressing up defensively and trap a little bit. Darling back at Riller with two. How about that? Darling, the UAB transfer. Painter five to shoot, trying to find Nate Darling. Hoists up a difficult shot, almost banked it in. And the rebound for... And they're three for three from the field early. And they've got a 10-point advantage. Yeah. Darling on the rim, responds with a deep triple. He can't rest. He has great range. And here's another steal. Right like back to Darling, just like that, looking for back-to-back -back jacks. Painter has the weak side offensive rebound. Darling. Always the green light. Run iron miss this time. And does a great job, Justin Mutz and Darling last year. Major League athletes getting ready to participate this year for Delaware. Darling this time misfires from 15. On Goss into the game. Transfer from GW right here in DC. Darling through traffic. Hanks can't hit it, but Mutz sure can. More matchups or complete night and day differences. And these two have been very similar for so long. Darling relatively quiet, trying to make some noise. Doesn't get a roll on back iron missed that shot kind of. I don't think he was referring to your no, no, I don't. Allen long three. I just met him, but he already knows me so well. <laughs> Two stars, <laughs> Darling. Loose change, gathers, and his three is way short. Great pass. Painter up, up, and away. Dylan Painter with the hammer. Stolen inbound pass. Anderson back for Darling. Hits a three. A kick out for Allen. Back to the Canadian sensation. Nine to shoot. Nate Darling up top, picking three. Everything to go down. Much for the, the weight that and the size that Ray and Bowie give up. They give it back from their wings. Darling up top, three ball, back iron miss. Coburn, good people. And he obviously, not just because he's from Connecticut, I'm a little biased. It's okay to be biased. <laughs> Darling the drive and the finish. That's a really nice move there from Nate Darling. Darling has a wow. three. Quick I mean, release. That 7-0 Delaware run. 
Garland, pump fake. The cut. The return pass. High post play for Mutz. A really good big man pass. One out of two. McCoy the rebound. 50 seconds for Darling. Launching. That transition. Two more for Pemberton. And the lead at a dozen. With half a minute to go in regulation. Darling long range three. Too strong. Darling near sideline to get it to Mutz on the wing. Backs it out to Darling. Three point threat. Shot fake. He drives it in. Fades away. Hangs and connects. Does Nate Darling. The youth goss the rebound. Darling brings it down far sideline in front of the Seahawks bench. A little push off to get some separation, and the three is good. Hunter kicks it out right side. Anderson. Anderson three. Short long rebound, but it's tracked down by Anderson. Now to Darling. Darling three on the wing is no good. Okaru the inside position on Painter come 40 to 37. Seahawks lead by three again. Anderson gives to Darling right side. Blocked three by Okaru out of bounds. Is trying to get the miss. Instead, Darling nearly has it knocked away from behind by Gadsden. Leaning in, Darling's shot is good. He's kind of been quiet, though he does have. Three free throws. So with 16 47, mark that down. Tofi has to go to the bench. Something that some teams have been able to exploit. Certainly the smaller, quicker. Back the other way. Darling can't hit. Back for the rebound. Down by eight. They've lost their offensive set here late in this ball game. Darling can't hit. Awesome. Awesome stuff. What an incredible career. Mm. And what an incredible final five minutes of this ball game. Darling nails. The College of Charleston is going to break their losing streak. An inch that much closer to Delaware. Pushing back to Nate, guarded closely by Jalen Red. Bowie now defends. Bowie was the defensive player of the year a season ago. Darling gets it off the bounce. And it's a good Elbow jump shot is off. Hofstra now 0 of 2 and a turnover on their first three possessions. Delaware's 3 of 3, 3 of 4 after a miss by Darling straight away. Hung in there, Colburn who can be a prolific three-point shooter. He's either really on or really off. Had five threes against William & Mary. Darling, he's been really on. And a three-point. Had four fouls up in New York, and that was a big problem for the cry. Darling steps away from Coburn. It's in his second triple in a row. 12.55, first down. Delaware leads 16-14. Offers made for the last five. Darling wants it, gets it. Corner three, it's short, and Coburn. 
Gets in there, gives it back to the hands with the seventh offensive board before the turnover. He followed his own shot from the three-point line. Darling, long range three from the wing. That's strong. And at that time, and extending the right hand to the defensive rebound was Justin Mutz. Anderson on the run. Darling left alone in transition to three. Can't get it to fall. Cushing crashing. Offensive board. He needs it. Can't get it. Offensive board. Mutz can get it. And the possession stays with Delaware. Second chance point for Darling around and out. He's been off his mark. Just was a little off balance. Just finished off two feet against Conte, who does, only has nine blocks on the season. Darling challenging his defender, missing Painter. Goes over the back of Conte to Anderson. Allen, another three on the way. And he can't get the fall. Darling, an offensive board. And Nate! Darling punches it through! Now we Here's Allen bringing the ball up the court. High dribbles against his matchup. So Darling driving, finds a hole right to left. Switches to the right hand. And he has the last four. The ball, he can maneuver without it and maneuver with it. Anderson to Darling. Darling just two of seven from three, two of eight after that straightaway miss. Uh, now the sideline stops. Contact as he missed a shot, an air ball is picked up by Goss. Four to work. Nate goes up in rhythm for a three off the side of the rim and a misfire. See, McCoy, an offensive rebound. Cross court to Darling. Darling, a jab step. He'll get to the free throw line. Spin into traffic and a lot of contact. No whistle. What does dealing the ball? Two steals as a zone player. The game is phenomenal. Darling squares, releases, misses again, shooting just 20% from all. Layup good from Conte, as Bill mentioned. Now, Delaware offensively under four, spinning. And Darling up and under move, soft touch in the lane, timeout by. Good shot to Bowie as he turned and walked back on offense. That's about all you can say. Bowie has really gotten to his spots and hit from those spots in today's game. Darling drills for three, he's got 23. But Pemberton nails two and gets the lead up to 73 58. Darling, he'll drive at the foul line. Flips one with the right hand, and it's good again. He's got five in a row. Four Del starters out as the game went on. They were much fresher in the last eight to ten minutes. Ray missed on offense. The shot by Darling on the so black, black uniform with, with red, red northeastern, northeastern across the chest and white, and white numbers. numbers. They go inside, inside Justin Mutz to get started. Kick, started. Out, Kick out Nate Darling. Darling. Corner, Corner three, three, and he, he has 90. Corner by Brace. Brace defends on the right block. Kick out to Allen. Allen. On top to Darling. Five seconds to shoot. Step back long. Two for Darling. And five as he rattles that through. Enough his paint. They can't go to him. Anderson is stripped in the paint. Dumps to Mutz. Mutz ball fake. Kick back out. Corner. Three. Darling again. Red. Lost. He was open for a three. And a rare miss from the corner for Jordan Rowland. Who has 79 three pointers on the year. Not as many as that man. Nate Darling. Of the night for the Huskies there. Two of nine with five turnovers. Delhi 24 to six. Darling NBA range. He does. Sharing the ball by Northeastern Delaware. Just needs to be more savvy with the ball. Let's get it back in, uh, in uh, Nate Darling's hands. Darling fadeaway J is first miss. 21 to play. Delaware on top. 34 to 17. Anderson into Justin Mutz. Darling catch release three. And his first miss from distance. The timeout back in action. Allen on the wing. Darling. Baseline, backing down his man Smith. Fadeaway jump shot, miss it. Darling's missed his last three after Stalker. Kick out to Mutz in the corner. Now we'll back down the point guard. Mismatch here. She's got a smaller player on him. Cross court to Darling. He was left alone, and he misfires. Now, Darling has misses. Just got caught a little bit too physical on the top shoulder, but it's really because of Justin Mutz's footwork down low. Off the inbound, Darling has now missed. Online. He leads them in assists, got 99 so far this year. Ryan Allen, nice to crossover, three-pointer up and good. That is a, yeah, take that one. He shoots about 30%, but he's even a better three-point shooter than that. But uh, missed that one. And here's Darling, who's an outstanding three-point well, shooter. Uh, Darling's going to. Comes out to Delaware. Darling. Goes up a three. Wow. Jay, I set up that wall back there so they can't get to the basket. Colin Goss just checked into the ball game. There's Darling, a baseline jumper. Good. Well, at least it was inside the arc. He One thing, got did a little different defense on now. They Twisting and driving in the lane. A little floater down the lane. Not that this young man's not good. It's just a, a very experienced referee. Underneath. 
Ball away, jumper. Does he miss his first shot? No. Yes, he does. It's Nate unbelievable. Rice with eight. Ball away, jumper for three. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound on the floor. Going to be crucial tonight. Kevin Anderson. Darling. Into the paint. Down the lane. Off the right side of the glass. Up and in. Kevin Anderson. Left side. That is a three-pointer launch to no good. By now another three-pointer. That's perfect. Left elbow. Stopped by Luke Lowy. Up top to Nate Darling. Miguel Ayesa trying to check him, and Darling puts up a three. No good. Take this lead in, so they're going to take one shot, I would imagine. And guess who wants to take it? Darling. Fall away jumper. Short. No good. Tip. No good. And Nathan. Jacob Cushing. There's Darling. Passed an NBA three. No good. Hurtson. 11 for Van Vliet. Here's Darling down the lane with a tough right-handed lay-in. I mean, point lead at halftime, and now can get it all back with a bucket here and then some. Here's Darling, Nate Darling, follow a 16-footer, front of the rim, no good. And lob it in to Mutz, hands it to Darling. Mutz on the right, back to Darling, off balance three, in and out, no good. Nathan Knight right there by a big-time player. He's six for nine from the field. And the other way, Darling looked like he might have. Here's Mutz into the front court. Right side, Anderson. Up top, Darling. Stops and pops for three. Hand in his face, good. Back in. Don't foul him. Just don't Darling. foul. Get away from three point, won't even kill you. Don't foul the book. Nate Darling, front court, he'll move it away to Allen. 2-0, Elon, 1835 left to play in the opening half. This is Darling, step back over the top of McIntosh from the left wing. Mutz, Mutz sends it away to Allen. Allen with Wooten trailing him. Up top to Darling, Darling to step back. He'll fire the three over the top wow. of McIntosh and good. And he'll kick away to Wooten off the right wing. Can't get it to go, and it's Anderson with the rebound. Front court come the Blue Hens. Chance to grab the lead back, and Darling will do just that. His third throw on it. Rebound pulled away by Goss. Seth Fuller's been summoned to the scorer's table. He'll get in. Next dead ball opportunity. Darling down the lane. Can't get it to go. Mutz with a rebound. Left to play in the opening half. This is Cushing with it off of the right wing. Sends it to Darling. Darling takes it to the foul line. Extended. Now spins in the lane. Got it to go. Right corner. Andy for the three. Couldn't get it to go. And it's Anderson with the rebound. On his own dribble. Takes it across the timeline. Darling for the off balance. Three. Almost nine. Darling, who was firecracker hot in the early going, touches it. Now moves it away to Goss. Now right back to Darling. Darling, the step back three off the left wing. Couldn't get it to go and made it. Anderson takes it to the left wing. Now up top. Darling, this is Allen. Allen driving baseline. Up top. They'll skip it around the horn. Darling for the three and good. Mount and Darling out of there. He'll move it away to Anderson. Anderson with it off of the right side. Up top, he'll send it away to Darling. Darling down the lane, left side. Then Chris Woot with the rebound. They go back to the post with Painter, though. This is Painter working against right. He'll flip it away to Allen. Allen takes it baseline. Now up top to Darling. Darling for the three. No good. Painter with the rebound. He in the ball game. Hunter Max spinning in the lane. Allen got the block on it. Anderson out of there, racing to the other end. He'll leave it for Darling. And Darling, the catch, tried to finish. Had it. Bit of a dangerous play from Woods there. If he didn't get his hand on the arm or on the ball there, Mutz was wide open on a dive to the basket. This is Darling for the two off of the inbounds. Bay percent. This is Mutz. Mutz downstairs, sends it up top. Darling catch down the lane, right side and off the window. Good. Answered right back. They've done the same here against Delaware. How about the play from Chuck Hanna before the break? Doing a good job of waiting, passing to the open man. Painter going down the lane, had it blocked its vision. Chuck doing a great job following Allen down towards the basket, preventing that pass and then blocking the shot as well. Darling off of the inbounds from Anderson. Knocks. This is Darling in between the circles. Flips it over to Allen. Allen takes it to the foul circle left side. Now to Darling for the three and good. Anderson a very good free throw shooter, 40% on the season. And Nate Darling, you could describe him as a very good three-point shooter. Decides to create some space with that mini step back, allows him to shoot over this seven-footer, Colin Goss. 
Darling floats from the free throw line. And the basket. Over the last three and a half minutes. JMU still staying in this zone. There's got to be more ball movement for Delaware. But how about a pretty good answer? That coming in, they're not a great long-range shooting team. So play off, give a little cushion, and stop those straight line drives. Darling, step back. And a whistle. I in the hands of Nate Darling. He wants to run. Here's Allen. Back to Darling. Darling, head fake, squares, fires, hits. Tremendous to tell how a team is, is how hard they're playing. And JMU, I think, is doing a really good job of that here this afternoon. Nate Darling, again, he's got four. Painter, Darling. Maybe he was too wide open. This is trying to create some offense out of his defense. A 6-0 run for James Madison. Their first lead since the first half. Darling follows his as a double-double. 10 and 10. From the corner. And Darling's missed his last five. And a big-time play by Jacob Cushing to get Delaware going into this five-game winning streak. Yeah, you remember at that time as Darling gets another one in close. Delaware was two and four. That Against one another, Lewis, Santa Bishop, O'Connell, Ryan Allen out of the math of Catholic. Darling. Too strong. Long. Perhaps a reach in by Banks. They let play continue. Pull up. Nuts! He's fat. Rebound. Darling, big possession here. Floats it up and in. What a move. What a basket. Delaware, one timeout left. Coach Inglesby likes to let his team play. He's going to do so now. Darling. Banks it through. And the how He got a foul trouble for them. He's going to be huge in this game. But you got to find a body. You need help from your guards. Darling and Rhythm got it from three. It really is. This is Darnley. Found his spot. The smallest guy on the floor. And on that right wing, you lose the moment. And Mutz, who started the break, now feeds the corner as Darnley makes him pay. Boy, he can't buy a bucket right now. That's Darnley. Got it. Look out. Possession. Oh, Walton, good quick move by the official to get out of the way of that scrub. And Darling, oh my, look out. There he goes. And finally a miss from Darling. Nicholas Timber, 11 for 14 from the floor here. Just past the midway point of the first half. That's a guy who's responsible for a good part of it, but Darling off the miss. Beecher in the weak sleep for Towson, the, the crowd. Is quiet. And the building has calmed down. Darling got him going early from the three-point line, and there he goes again. Darling thought about the three. And now he will take the three. Long rebound. Guess who's got it? Just short-armed it a little bit. Darling, deep three ball. Five on the shot clock as Darling goes to work in the lane. In traffic, got it off the glass. Out of frustration. Home look here from Towson. Haven't seen a lot of that in this one. And an errant pass by Cushing, bailed out by Darling. McKinney hit the shot. Allen lost the handle on the ball. Shot clock's winding down. No choice. How about that? Darling into the lane. Oh, he got it. Around the perimeter, I would have liked to see a couple extra passes. Someone open up. Darling, way too strong. Rebound now stands as the biggest offensive rebound of the night for Delaware. Darling, dagger from right in front of his own bed. Darling working hard to get open, but once he does, that's usually the result. Plus minutes per game. Nearly a turnover. Mutz gets it back for Delaware. They're on a 7-0 run. 
Drexel hasn't scored in the last. He's done everything this coaching staff has asked from him since coming off the bench. He continues to have his best season ever as a Blue Hen. He plays so hard. A great rim runner, a good defender. Love the battle on the boards as his son does as well. He could jump. He was in a couple NBA dunk contests. He was in the Harold Minor a couple times. Nate Darling, what a move. Darling is so creative. Cushing playing more and more minutes since his game winner against Elon a couple weeks ago. Darling wanted to head to the foul line. Didn't get the whistle he was looking for. Darling driving Yurik, making him work hard. Yurik, one of these pointers, maybe right now just slumping a bit. When Ryan, though, finds his range, he is a great streak shooter, but what he does really well is changes his game up when need be. Hey, Darling, not too shooter, so now he does. And a uh, pass nearly stolen away by Butler. Now it's Darling. Almost 12 rebounds per contest in his junior campaign. Darling, open, knocked down. And that's the chemist. A little bit of room when he got there. He's a creative scorer. He does much better at home than on the road. When it, in their losses, he only scores five and a half points a game. What a dish from... Has not been scoring much this year, averaging just under six points a game. So to get him going would be a big plus for Drexel. Darling, again. for Darling. How many different ways can they over Justin Lutz? That was a great find by Cameron Winter as Butler again slips the screen. Darling almost beats the buzzer. Allen, they've got to get him going. No points in the first half. He's missed 10 threes in a row. Has Allen. Darling rarely misses. Did that time. To eight, I should say. And there's Painter again. This time on the defensive glass. Darling. Yurik making an earn it back to him. Just 14 points plus, and their loss is 5.5, so he's on track. He's got to be better defended. Darling gets the lead back up. Eight to work. Not good spacing by this Delaware team. Darling creates his own space. Pretty off the hand of Nate Darling, and a three like that can get this team going. Again? No call, a big time play by Dylan Painter defending the defensive glass. Darling, after making the threes, missed his last two. They'd love to see Walton and maybe a green or somebody else be a little more consistent in the scoring column. Nothing but consistency for Nick Darling. He's really a fun guy to play for. If you ever watch one of his practices, they're so well organized and run, but there's a lot of energy in them. A matchup with Pickerstaff on Nate Darling, one that Nate may be able to take advantage of here. Pulls up from long range, a miss, Mutz. Working against Walker, that'll be a fun matchup to watch today. Back inside to Mutz, Darling, he can shoot from deep, not this time though. He, he kind of smiled sheepishly when we told him a, a little while ago his leading shot blocker as we get a look at the miss by Darling. His leading shot blocker is actually Jordan Rollison whistled for his first personal. You know, one thing Bill Cohen told us pregame is that with these noon starts that it was really going to be a uh, witch shooter. There's Miles Franklin, and he doesn't mind being just a shooter. His second three, eight points, and too shy of his career high. Just sit back and enjoy it. Get a foul before the shot goes up on Delaware. This goes on quickly. Roland just in front of the line, airballed. Ryan Allen keeps it from going out. Yeah, good defense there on the recovery by the Blue Hens. This Mutz hasn't been able to get going. Roland's feeling it, draws the foul and hits. Jordan Roland. Delaware 19 points a game, fourth in the conference, second only to Jordan Roland in threes and top 20 in college basketball. It's been a great fit for this Delaware he team. Really has. And how about this ball? Took his eyes off of it and a break there for Northeastern. Smith throws it away. Anderson read that. Trying to find Bolden Brace in the corner. 
Northeastern also did a very good job of taking care of that ball in the first half, just three turnovers. And they've already turned over two times here in the early going. And when you figured they'd come out really charged up to start the second half, much like we've seen Delaware here today. Yeah, he said that the Huskies have played perhaps better halves and have had good the charge. Franklin to Walker. I think Walker thought that was intended for him. Brace straight on three, left it short. He hasn't been able to find it today. Ten From long distance now the drive, and he makes the end one, and all of a sudden we're back up to a 13-point lead for Northeastern. Three-point play, and we're shipped at one silver. Good international experience and great college experience now here with Delaware. Yeah, used to the big stage, so he's not afraid of any. Just 28 minutes on Thursday against Drexel. Well, you talk about he's trying to get his feel from outside. He started to get it back in the first half. It's Kyrie. And similar how they get to the basket. A walker. Good defense there. That was a tough tumble for Anderson. Good to see him get back on his feet, be okay. Baseline, he's got a dozen points. So just like earlier, Mike, it, it might have to be the supporting cast to Jordan Rowland stepping up if Northeastern's going to pull this one out. Perfect in the first half, six for six, but we haven't seen a lot of the likes of Strong, Franklin, and Boygbeden in, in this second so far. George Jason Strong, he's blue hens two years ago. Borsko and Walker down under the basket. That's a matchup you will take every time if you're Northeastern. Under two minutes. Painter kind of shoved off his mark. Now they get it down inside. That's what we were talking about. Mutz back outside. It's Darling. And that pretty jump shot from the tempo okay. pushed off Come his mark on, underneath. Kate. Nice drive by Painter, keeping his hands high, being big to throw off Conte as he tried to finish. There's Darling again. And on the inside, an easy legend in the game. It helps so many young men not become not just become great players, but great people. And he'll leave a legacy forever. And almost tried to get the ball to get a couple ball reversals to make that zone shift, which creates open shots. Darling missing on the one hander and the rebound down to cut down their shooting touch. Nice to try to press their advantage. Delaware trying to get settled in their zone offense. They started out good, but they've gone cold. The catalyst there with his interior play, attacking the rim and going strong. Little touch pass on the return. And Darling drains it from the He's going to start to be more aggressive, particularly in the second half, with that ball screen and that pull-up jumper. That's Darling catch and shoot. Get angles to the basket. See, Painter and Mutz also both had seven rebounds, so that was a combined 22 points and 14 boards. Rebound! From the two bigs. Coburn can't hit. It is a cold shooting night. Beyond the arc for both sides. Darling on the get take, can't get it to go. This is what Hoffs is booing, too strong. Uh, Running opportunity, Darling leaves it behind for Allen. And now Darling in rhythm. Rebound that ball. Over and back. Painter pressing his physical advantage on the inside with the left hand. Nice job spacing the floor. They played four out one in, which gave Conte enough room to operate. Off the miss here. Darling, he's been quiet. Taking it to the hoop hard. With a hesitant 315. Darling. We were lined up with that one. That was no good off for Nate Darling. Yeah. I like Delaware's offense. A little bit more ball movement. Let's move that ball around. Let's snap that ball around. As the old coach would say, move the ball from side. The guys finding him. He's got to be a guy that they got to assert and block, block, set screen for, and get him open because he, when his feet set, he's a, a terrific shooter. Good to the floor. Good looking shot though by Nate. Running over is Hunter McIntosh, and now it's Hannah with it. Hannah chest pass to Irvin. A little hesitation. Elon quickly going, and now McIntosh pulls up left wing three, short off the rim, and then the backboard rebounded by Painter. Tied at, you know, give him touches on each possession. You know, he's going to draw some attention. He's going to make some shots, but he also can get loose in the defense for other guys. New hands back on, tied up for it. Jump ball, possession arrow in favor of the Blue Hens. And I like that possession. Again, if Darling is your best player, one stuff. Darling sinks the deep three, and it's a two-point game heading into half. Delaware trails, but 
That might ignite the hands going in. Nothing but net. 41-37, Delaware takes the lead again early in the second half. And you asked it that three going in before. It Rattles in and out, rebounded by Hunter McIntosh. I love that. I love that exchange. You know, uh, you know, into the shot clock block, kick it down to your best shooter. And two kidding me, Nate Darling, with a hand in his face, a little stutter step, gets a little separation, and Delaware has a right wing three, misses the mark wide right. Didn't hit the rim. Didn't hit the backboard though. I I, I think it's the best shot in the house. Him shooting the ball with his feet set is... And it's rebounded by Hannah. Dollar might be a little winded. He's a guy that plays pretty much the whole game. Uh, 38.5 minutes a game. With the floater, and he finds the bottom of the net. Good possession. Delaware find their best player. He makes the play for him. McIntosh, the freshman, misses his for three. Misses. Much try to go for the putback slam. He misses. Elon gets the board. That could have. That would have. Action where Nathan Knight was in better position. He just kicks it out and lifted play another play. Really nice job. Darling open and he hits the three as well. Delaware. He turns it over as he realized it and passed through the hands of Nate Darling. McCoy back to Darling. Darling catch release three. That's going to be strong. Sailing over the rim. People to rise right up in the shot, Scott. Third assist for Thornton. Scott averages 4.2 per game. Darling on the drive. Gets in about six feet out on the painter just need to make themselves available. 12-08, first half of basketball. Delaware up by one, 13-12. Darling, catch, shoot, three, strong into the hands. He is back for the tribe. How about Miguel Ayesa averaging 4.3 points per game? He's got nine already. Darling gets it close, and he makes his shot club. 23-20 to score. William and Mary leads. Darling on the drive, beats Scott to the rim. Folks one up and through. Darling the first. Run by Delaware, just better execution. This is a CAA high already for Iasa. 12 is his career high. Darling splits everybody. And again, Delaware missing at the rim. Van Vliet was there, Anderson in the corner. The deflection allowed Iasa time to recover as Anderson was open when the pass was released. Darling, he'll miss from two. And rebound by Van Vliet. Delaware is loose. Darling picks it up. Nate's got 10. Delaware down 31-25. Darling driving low. He makes it very difficult. And Darling misses. Or catches a break as the reset should go to 20 regardless. But I don't even think it should have done that. Can't with the basketball. To Darling. Darling thought about a three. Now releases. And it's around now by seven in the first half. Here's Darling. Allen to Anderson. Extra pass. Darling open look from the corner. And Delaware sharing the rock. And back in the scoring column. Goes Nathan Knight, back up to 10. It's the lead for the try, 57-47. Darling up front, and this on Allen. He's got the hot hand, corner, it goes to Goss. Delaware within seven, Darling. He drives, past Knight, to the rim, the reverse. Does not drop, Goss an offense rebound, back out to Anderson. <laughs> Possession right there is exactly what Delaware wants. Get Towson low in the shot clock and let him throw up a shot like that. Long triple. Bad shot, but it went in. Beatron with five for the Tigers. Painter kicks it out to Darling, who knocks down the three. But the health is starting to really come along for the younger youngster. Definitely. He's a talented player. He hasn't really got the chance due to injury to really showcase his game. But if he gets going, I think he, he's been quiet to start off. Drive by McCoy, kicks it out. And the floater by Darling, no good. Two for seven from the field. Definitely, Nate has to get going. Because as we said, as that Delaware bus moves as he as he rolls. And there is Darling in his first shot. To the rim, and Darling stood a finish, got right around. Got the handoff to Allen on the curl against Fox. Gives it up to Darling. 
He's going to jack up the long three. No good. Thompson with a rebound. Pass the ball. Three or four passes. Get it to the open man. What do you have? A knockdown corner three by Timberlake. Lar largest lead for Towson today. And Darling Ants loader. No good. Long three by Darling. It knocks it back into the hands of Delaware Anderson. Darling wants it back. Towson really capitalized on those turnovers. <laughs> Darling's three no good. In just a bit, I'm sure. Here is Allen. Down low it goes to Gross. And the lane cut right down the middle. An easy bucket for Nate Brecker to start a year with the nine straight wins. But at 11 and 5, you can easily do the math. They've struggled the last seven. Ball tapped out. Pinker comes. He got a stretch of six consecutive outings in double-digit scoring. Stop in the loss to College of Charleston last Sunday. All the way to the rim, sliding on through and by early, and he has done so thus far. Banks merely comes up with a steal. He is on the top ten list at JMU. A cutter again as they got to figure out what's happening at the top. So finished up his eligibility. The kick out comes out to Darling. He will drive and goes to the lane. Left-handed layup, no good. A battle for the basketball. One by Either that or he felt there was some contact as that ball came way up short. And Delaware has it again, and there's the running shot by Darling. He seconds. We'll have to run this play here as Anderson, rather, will trigger it in. And here comes Darling right away off the back of the iron. Banks protects the... And he's got Mutz who misses on the... Easy shot, Painter with the rebound, steps it out, Darling hits. Darling's first half. Anderson, Darling, Darling drives. Painter was in the right spot, misses the shot. Six now make them four of seven. Uh, after seven of nine in the first half. Darling felt good about that one as he faded out. Lewis with this uh, explosion here in the second half, moving up the scoring charts at JMU. A floater, no good. Pinkard with a rebound. This is the handle in the process. Dukes have gone scoreless for a couple of minutes. Tapped around, battle full. Yeah, Dylan Painter has, uh, has really put together a second half here for the Blue Hens. A short from Anderson, rebound Wilson mental advantages for the Dukes as much as those two have struggled at the free throw line this year. Uh, and as much as the team has collectively. There's a block yeah. by Parker. Comes out. The first turnover of the game for Drexel on their second possession. Darling driving. Oh! Mutz out to the wing. A little bit slower pace than you were expecting coming in from these two. Yeah, it's a slower elbow jumper. He looks more comfortable, even though it's a little more unorthodox looking. From the corner. Underneath, though. Been a real physical game early. Mutz throws it up to the top for Darling. The UAB transfer to seize part for him. I can make it do it do. The handoff and the drive by Darling. Painter facing the basket now. Butler does a good job of holding his ground. Got to guard that. He was open in him and literally leaves it behind him. Oh Darling, Mutz goes to jam it and throws it out of bounds. They really contest the three. Like even that last one in the corner by Okros, the defender came way out and stuck his hand up and really caused it the daring McCoy to shoot and he does not he looked a little skirt he looked up at the rim longingly breath now was like a 9-0 run that seemed like it went on forever I don't know if there's time for a breath yet look at that floater comes up short McCoy gets it 10 points and 12 boards now double Temp, double Temp, double double 
That was one of the few. That could have been it. Will walk the basketball up. Gasper picks him up at half court. Darling had 21 on Saturday. Now driving right past Miller and scooping and scoring is Nate Darling. And I, or excuse me, 16 minute media timeout at 16.07. On top it's Goss to Darling. Darling, quick trigger on a three. And it's off the mark into the hands of Jalen McManus for Duguay at the break. They join Darling, Anderson, and Mutz as the starters on the floor. Five for Mutz as he brings to the right side. Passes to Darling. He gets a clean look at a three and connects. That was the ball up the floor as Anderson gets a blow. It's Allen, Mutz, Painter, Darling, and McCoy on the floor. Darling close past his man. Hop step in the lane to the right hand float. He misses. Painter on the offensive rebound. Painter reaches for the rebound. And here comes Nate Darling and the Blue Hens up by one. 21 to 20. 9 22. First half. Darling a pull up tray. Misses straight up and makes. Galloway miss without fouling. Great job by the Villanova transfer. Here's Novakovic. Darling, NBA range three. And that's mighty got a piece of that. Smart with it. He's got to probably be guarded a little bit closer. That little split kick by Riller drew the help. Darling spins into traffic. Switches hands. Gets the roll. Plus one. Well, it was Kevin Anderson we saw on the replay. He got his hand in and knocked it through off the leg of Grant Riller. Here's Allen to the rim. Kick out. Darling. Catch. Release. Misfiring on a corner three. The team's best three-point shooter is 0-5 to start this contest. Darling, Delaware's best three-point shooter, takes it in close and scores two more. He's got 12. Tied back iron off the mark. Rebound Goss. Goss floats. It's short. And the ball tipped around. Goss has it again. Darling calling for it. Release on a three. That's short. And a run out for Jasper tonight from three and just two of eight to start in this second half. Here's Darling spinning off. Nick Manis and in. Darling felt the leap and struggling to say the least from three-point range is three of 17. Darling on the drive, past McManus, double clutches, short. Goss tries to tip it, and he missed from three. Charleston, four of 17. Hens just one of seven this half. Darling, can he change it from downtown? He cannot. Delaware. Allen off the curl, a jab step for their defense. Mutz inside, guarded by McManus. Cross court to Darling, catch release, the three is blocked by Galloway, another mid. Also, they've really extended here in the second half, made it very difficult for Delaware to get a lot of good looks. Darling, his pass was deflected, he got it back, lays it up and through, 16. A movement off the ball. Goss with the basketball, he scored the first four points of the game against LIU. Nate Darling misfires on a three, and he knows it's a long season, and they were not celebrating. After being, I know, that's for sure. Well, that's a great point. And Martin Inglesby understands all the ramifications of how you get off. The previous contest. Totally. Odoer is now trying to reverse the ball. They're using some pick and roll action and then get an opportunity late in the shot clock. they probably got to have him live. He's going to be a good one. He just needs to work on that interior post game. Darling. Yes, his first of the night by the freshman against a very good defender. Kevin Anderson just could not finish with the basket. Darling feeling hot. After making on his shot, that's what you got to do to get results like that. Kevin's got great energy, loves the game, loves the practice. And, and he's got to love that. And there it's for Allen as he walks it up, the junior for the Matha Catholic. Darling for the Matha Catholic as well. They were teammates. And they connect there. They said up there reading the fact that Colin Goss was fronting Linsom, and then the help was a little slow to rotate. Nice play by the big man. Nate Darling is... Have to figure out how they can score points against a good defensive team. Turnover there. Much is on the run. Darling in transition. In and out. A whistle away from Lee. But other players have gotten going in the second frame. Darling as the shot clock winds down front rim and a rebound. Can't add to his total there. A defensive stop at the rim. And now Darling left alone. He'll make the play. Learn how to play through those moments where he isn't shooting as well. Forced into being a leader on a young team. Nate Darling a miss. An offensive rebound. The quickness. He had a long rebound there. And so much of that is just a willingness to go get it. A lot of players are content with just staying in their vicinity. He will have one, not to regret, but one thing to coach his team up here after the game is over. Just trying to close out these conference games a little bit more solidly. But let's credit UNC. Great start for both teams. Augusto got rejected by Anderson. Darling's got a step. 
And now it comes back roll. So we fly through the first four and a half minutes. Action speaking for it. And that was a good job by Darling to stay with him. Sharks going a little cold here before the media timeout. And Darling's fresh. Clark tried the hand on Mutz. Mutz stays with it. A lot of movement and Darling with a long three. Good box. I've had a blink of an eye. He hesitates and then boom, explodes. And then where we saw him finish the first time, last time, a nice layoff. Darling off the inbounds. Flowers to the board. Ryan Allen is on the Lou Henson Award watch list. Quiet in this one. That was a forced opportunity. Spin move there. Both teams shooting right up above 46%. Darling bypasses bats and can't get it. He's Hensity. They've slacked off a little bit. You can see him. I think once in a while, Ty Flowers forgets he's 6'9". And it's finally happened in possession. So LIU now with eight turnovers. Darling. Stays cold. Try to heat. Assists. The Blue Hens just haven't gotten comfortable. Word that Pat used early in the first. Another no-show for Nate Darling. But again, Delaware, you got to keep getting good looks. You just got to hope that they're going to fall. You know, they're not having a good shooting night, but there's still plenty of time. Darling is now quick flip inside. Painter, Anderson, the swing pass, and a force three. And it blows into the paint, and then just a nice little layoff when he garnered all that attention. Third assist for Jackson, and an uncontested bucket for Darling. Had it taken away. Delaware does not have to rush. They get a three from Darling. And now a three would give Delaware its first lead of the second half. Darling all the way. He ties it up at 64. 7.25 to go. And remember, the leading scorers, Mutz and Clark, have four fouls. Look out. Nate Darling's on a roll. With that, tremendous job to block that. Anderson skipped it. Darling. Oh, he's got a triple. Anderson, top of the screen. Darling. Off balance, batted around. Clark to the rebound. This is a huge win for LIU. And Darling with one final shot. That's a big win. Step back, long two this time, and touches every part of the before falling out. And they always want to make sure they don't let them get into the paint when it goes mid-range shots. Darling, backing down his defender. Fail AJ is good, and Darling enters part of the fitting. Mutz with a rebound in traffic. Passing partner is Darling. Darling looking ahead. It's three on three. Stops, pops, Darling off the mark. Painter keeps it alive, but in the hands. Over the shoulder, left shoulder, jump hook that he made. Novakovic, McCoy, extra pass, Darling. Darling can't get himself going. A line drive, three minutes, first half. Darling picks up his dribble. Novakovic, left wing, inside of Goss. Goss has a height on Amir Bennett. Cross-court pass to Darling. Darling, catch release on a three. There it is, Nate Darling. Minutes in the first half. Uh, shows great energy. He's very fit. So those extra minutes did not bother him. Off the curl, Darling straight away. Missing on a three, Pinky Wiley. Missing in close to defense by the Towers of Mutz and Colin Goss. It's Darling using the left hand to get inside. Beats his man, but can't score. The tip is there for Colin Goss, who's up to another nine. rotation on that because he's sold out as he's instructed to do via the scouting report. Another teammate's got to help him. Darling going to miss on a three for the right wing, trying to get the two it would make seemingly earlier in the season. He's done a nice job of staying out of foul trouble as of late, but now with four. Darling from Anderson, a three ball in and out. Goss an offensive rebound. Novakovic to Darling as they have a catch on the wing. He loses it. Six to shoot for Darling. Five to work for Darling. He drives inside, off the window and in, and breaks the wall. Just got Painter too far dislodged from him in the mid range. Painter cross court pass, a dangerous one, but it gets to Darling. Darling beats his man, hooks up over a late arriving defense. In this I don't know much about the rest of the MIAC, but I would think that we might be seeing the MIAC player of the year out here tonight. Darling missing from three. 
Run out goes to Anderson. His turn with 10. Double team steps through it. Passes to Darling. Six to work. Darling, a three point shot is strong. And a handle Crosby here. Finish. Here's Darling, the former UAB Blazer. Bay is all over him. Puts up the three and hits. Invitational. Villanova went back to Philly, played three consecutive challenging Big Five games, which is a big part of the schedule every year for the Wildcats. It is, and they over the top. Now he has appeared in only five games, the last five, now six, counting this one, averaging about seven minutes per game. Coming off of shoulders. Good job by Delaware. Closing out on the shooters, not allowing penetration, giving a little bit of help, and then recovering. There goes Darling, the young man from Nova Scotia with a nice the credit. They are getting up and contesting and finishing the play on the glass. Darling lost it on the spin, and here comes Villanova. Oh, not unlike Villanova, uses a lot of spacing, the two-on-two -two game to score. And there, again, good opportunity at the rim, but good pressure by Villanova. Tell you what, Abby Asamoa has brought tremendous energy off the Delaware bench. Got that offensive. The final exams began for Villanova today back on campus and will run throughout the week. Darling hits for three. It's former coach. Darling from between the circles. See, yesterday we've seen uh, lots of Jay Wright practices over the years. I enjoyed their practices as much as anybody's, working on those fundamentals. Beaten on this player, Ithiel Horton, who left for Pittsburgh in June. He was an all-rookie, all-conference player. And in spite of that, Delaware has figured it out. Because if you double on the box, Villanova has their head up, and they're going to reverse it, and then back reverse it again to find the open man. The low post coming up very shortly as Delaware gets former Villanova Wildcat Dylan Painter eligible after his transfer. Formula. You know, death with a thousand paper cuts. Just keep attacking, find mismatches, wear you out. Little two man game. They have been hanging around the entire game, but have not been able to get over the hump. Now, passes like that are not going to help. In the sidelines, unless you can do a lot of different things to help. He did a lot of damage against Middle Tennessee State. He dropped 26 on the Blue Raiders earlier this year. Be there all year long. They're a top 15 to 20 team. Marquette has proven they're very good. Then the bottom of the league. Jay Wright's going to look the other way because his grit, his toughness, his leadership, you can't put a value on that. That is invaluable, especially as a veteran. He assists. And Riller knocks down his first one. There's a high arcing answer three to go. Allen fakes the three, drives it into some traffic, pulls up and isn't able to get it to go. But after the Jasper miss, excuse me, from Delaware. Mutt's attacking. Right there, Delaware sniffed Ooh. that out. They prepared and they knew that Riller was going to try to beat them on a the backdoor cut. Darling hands it off to the big man. Or over to Darling, I should say, from Anderson. Oh, nice pass into Painter. Tries to readjust under the hoop and gets it up on the window. Swings it. Darling wants it back from Goss. Puts it back to the big fell off the glass. A little give and go. You know, with a handle for Anderson. Here's Darling's first touch. On the bounce, Mutz trying to get a roll. Follow rattles out. It's Jim Calhoun. He wanted some plays out of that playbook. I'm like, I, I didn't look at it when I had it. I really don't know where it is now, but I think they've done okay. A lot of community service, tremendous teammate. More than just a good player. McCoy, free. 11-3, pride run. Tend to shoot here for the Blue Hens. Allen, deep, lefty three. Oh, not kept it alive, but it comes to Painter. Much needed stop there, but you're right. This guy right here has to score the basketball. Anderson up top, thinking three. Way strong off the bank, getting in that large bid. I thought he was talking about my mood swings. They're fluid. They I don't think he was referring to your mood swings. No, I, bet I don't. Allen, <laughs> my finals on CBS Sports Network. Ten to shoot, Darling. Goss, tough pass to catch, then hits the righty runner.
That was a very keep that ball high. Keep it up. Yep. And even a little tip in. Darling. Cushing left a long range jumper. <laughs> Delaware down 13 in the semis last year to Hofstra. Tied at Senate to OT. They've got a lot of work to do tonight to repeat the feat. In battles. When you get to the end of your career or close to that, you want to make you want to finish it. Anderson jets to the basket, lays it in. Rebound for Darling. Baseline. Allen. Mutz on the near sideline. Hands off to Darling off the screen. Steps left. Back to Mutz. Mutz drives. Floater right hand is good. Boy, the floater is working well for the hens. Knowing they're going against some real height against Delaware once they get down the block. Darling to McCoy. McCoy sets his feet. The three is no good. Rebound. Phil timed his jump, but he came up short with the putback. Darling drives. Cannot penetrate. Almost knocked away by Okaru. Open was Allen. The three is good. With Four. Toll free has three. Sims with three as well. Left corner, Cushing three is good. Boy, you got to get some. Well, a week away from the start of the CA Championship in D.C. and inching toward that, seating starting to come into Delaware. So uh, Delaware, a 21 team, but came into today. Uh, it's high for fourth place with Charleston. Then Northeastern, Elon Drexel, UNCW, and James Madison. So... Pass. Allen. A rhythm three is first leg against the. By Nate. Nate crossover dribble. Into the paint. Over to Mutz. Along the sideline. Stops. Contact as he missed the shot. An air ball. Shot rejected by Colin Goss. Ahead to Darling. No numbers. He'll challenge Dewey at the rim. Dish it off to Anderson. Anderson gets a layup. Three already. Now Darling runs the floor. Drives. Stopped, cross court to Allen. Allen ahead fake. He'll pull up with a J from the right side. The lefty jumper is strong. Three back. Inside, Darling, right block, up and under move. Passes back to Allen. Allen, the three ball on the way. That's short to, to the second half. Darling from the wing, cut off by Walters. Picks up his dribble, cross court to Allen. Allen in rhythm, the three ball is down. The average 12 and a half per game on the season. We go into 12 minutes. Darling with the Rockies and scored since the first half. Drops it to McCoy. He's helping others score. Here's Kevin Anderson. He had five three pointers up there at Delaware against the Tribe. He really killed the Tribe, even though William Mary did win. Here for Van Vliet. He shoots about 38% from there. And the ball knocked away by Luke Loy, who's trying to get on top of uh, his man, Darling. The long jumper to Nate Darling. Darling with it, Luke Loy trying to cover him, and a great pass underneath and a, a dunk. The victories by 20, a total of 27 points. Really some close games, and they have closed the deal. Goss underneath, Nathan Knight with a good defensive effort. Four points for Barnes. Ryan Allen stops and pops from 16, no good, and he scored well over. A thousand points for Delaware in his career. Into the corner on the right side to the hole. Nathan Knight nearly Gerson. There's Nate Darling, gets a pick. Bounce pass underneath to Anderson, gets his man in the air, and the layup is up and in. Johnny McCoy has just checked in for Delaware. Lob it down low to Goss, layup good, and he is fouled. Rebound to Darling. That's Ryan Allen, goes by his man. The driving layup is missed. 15 seconds. Darling into the front court. Darling, bounce pass underneath the Mutz. 
bump by Nathan Knight. The uh, layup is up and in. Drew step to get around Goss to lay it up. This is Mutz. Mutz moves it away to Darling. Darling wanting to go downstairs to Goss. Can't get it to him. Step up top. Allen for the three and good. 300 missed everything. Uh, simply wedged it against the back of the iron. Goss with the rebound. Darling, Allen in transition wow. and good. Top to Goss. Goss will send it to Allen. Allen's got Fuller giving chase. He'll send it up top to Cushing. Now works it away to Darling. Now up top, Cushing, the off-balance three missed. 7.32 left to play. Phoenix break out a little bit of the zone look as Allen will lob it away to Mutz. Mutz takes it baseline left side. They'll move it around the horn. This is Anderson for the three. In Alexandria, Virginia, not too far from here. So got a strong D.C. area representation on this Delaware team. Throw ahead. Great pass. Painter up, up and away. Dylan Painter with the hammer. Stolen inbound pass. Anderson back. Good catch at center court by Ray. Harassed by Darwin, but he turned over the baseline. Loose change. For He's got 18 first half points. Does Nate Darling. Barnes lost the handle. And a whoop. 25 blocks on the season coming in. He's got a couple today. A steal, stolen right. As you said, Scott, good recognition by Mutz. And Darling with the easy three. Coburn lost the handle on it. And commit. Aiken misses wide right from Anderson. And now Elon gets the rebound, and it's Irvin taking it up right to left. Thought about from the Delaware bench. Gets it on top to Blair. Extra pass, Scott. Scott probably could have had one more. And too late, he turns it over as he realized to the way. Two-time All-CAA defensive team, Darling goes strips Knight and gets the ball back for Delaware. So a turnover by the hand. 20 to play, 20 on the shot clock, excuse me, 43 to play. Ball poked out, Anderson stole it. Darling on the run, Darling to Cushing. At 44%, Delaware first on the board. Here's Lewis, lost the handle. Oh, it looked like a travel as. Yeah. Been scoring pretty much a will the last few times down the court. Nice play there by Darling to strip Butler. And here come the hen. Oh, nice play by Sam Green not to travel. And here come the Dragons. And Walton yeah. tries to drop it off behind. Nice long shift in this first half. Cotton keeping the dribble low. And then force fed the roll to Clark. It was take 3%. And we talked about Delaware being just an average rebounding team. Cotton turns it. And it's the largest lead once again for Delaware of 11, 60-49. Baseline jumper. Briller going between the legs, going at Darling at Mutz, and he scores. What a sh The little plays that save possessions or create extra ones. Ray to the basket, can't. Kelly heads wow. up. Dante Reed games, no six to shoot. Jalen Ray goes by Darling. There's that left hand, but no finish. Rebound, stick embedded in there. He had a lot of blood on that arm, too. 
Here's Raven, fantastic tonight. Got four threes. Pemberton, not this time. Delivered possession, half court yeah. for Joe Mahalik. And Hostra, Ray from the elbow, cans a jumper. Yeah, Ray. Off the injury a couple of weeks ago, he still plays that physical defense. Phillips, a handoff to Gasson, who drives in, floater with a left hand, back iron and through for Gads. Time to go. This is Ray, the fourth tie of the first half. Phillips on the right wing, crosses over, drives on Darling, pulls up in the paint, short with it, go in the first half. Gadsden has it out front, looks at a bench, as they'll start to their offensive set. He'll drive it all the way past the defense, off the glass, no good. Linson there, the putback blocked. It's not been Cushing, it's been someone else. Yeah. Seahawks have to pick that up. Coy hit one there, Allen as well, driving, redirecting the shot, no good. Follow-up is... So you one, you you want to support a team, but two, you've got to enjoy the experience. And you know, I, I think he's he's bought us. He wants them to. Fade away. Two hands there to rebound it. Darling carries the rock up in between the circles. Dribbles left off the elbow. Try to go to the no look behind Allen. Allen dribbles through his left. Finds an open cushion. Left corner three. And it rattles through. Tied at 18. Coach Fisher, I'm sure, drew something up offensively. Good night. Sets a screen for Hamilton. He drives and is fouled plus one. And the track. Go. Each time Delaware has scored, Towson has had an answer this half. Here it is to Wilson. Wilson wraps it out to Woodson. Back out to Parker. 19 on the shot clock. Plenty of time to work. Parker drives and gets contact. Six seconds on the shot clock. Wooden stutter steps. Drives. 
And yes, the freshman scores. A 30, first half, still waiting that 16 minute media timeout whistle. Jasper right past Darling, makes quick work of Darling defensively. And defend Smart and McManus line up for a double screen. Jasper to Galloway, six to shoot. He gets in the lane left to right, and he misfires with Smart try coming up. For Charleston on this possession. Five seconds for Riller. Riller inside, draws contact, and the foul. The shots he takes, good shots, and that one gets Delaware lead right back. 53 52 on the drive. It's Reddish from 10 feet. Defense time and time again over the last six years under Earl Grant. And lead by one. Reddish to the right side. A high handed layup. Charge call wrong that they're very hesitant, as you described perfectly. Riller. Almost a perfect drive, did everything but finish as he... Well, there's nobody better on Delaware than Kevin Anderson finding those angles to get to the basket. He's got those long arms and can finish overall. So far with LIU this year, their defense just sort of breaks down too easily. Augusto, tough. And that was... Right now, it's tough to see, but... Jackson. Fouled by the ticker as Cosby will throw it in left side. To sing, sing. A couple hop steps in the lane. Goss makes it difficult. Shot is. Nice pass. A really good pass there. And oh, blocked, but then put up on the putback. So you one, you you want to support a team, but two, you've got to enjoy the experience. And you know, I, I think he's he's bought his Bryce Barnes. Six minutes left in the first half. Van Vliet underneath to Lowy, ball blocked out of bounds, stays with. Miss on a three for the right wing, trying to get the trip. Dynamic playmaker. You got to keep eyes on him. He's going to score his points, but can they contain the other players? And Galloway, a big part of that. Riller going between the legs, going at Darling, at Mutz, and he scores. What a shot. Seven to shoot here. Jalen Ray with three to shoot for Hofstra. Long lefty shot on the way. Back iron, but under a minute left of the opening 20 tonight here in our first semifinal. Up top, Bowie raises the front iron. Slay heads wow. up. Dante regains, though, six to shoot. Jalen Ray goes by Darling. There's that left hand, but no finish. Rebound, stick. Catch at center court by Ray. Harassed by Darling, but he turned over the baseline. Loose change for deliberate yeah, possession. Yeah, Half court yeah, for Joe yeah. Mahalik. And Hostra. Ray from the elbow. Cans a jumper. Jalen Ray. Have to go. This is Ray, the fourth tie of the first half. Phillips on the right wing, crosses over, drives on Darling, pulls up in the paint. Short with it. Not been crushing. It's been someone else. Yeah. Seahawks have to pick that up. Coy hit one there. Allen as well driving, redirecting the shot. No good. Follow up is up ending Drexel 76 65. Charleston over this Delaware team 80 to 71. So the hands come in having lost a couple of games. So you one, you, you want to support a team, but two, you've got to enjoy the experience. And you know, I, I think he's he's bought us. Rob Burke is we've seen it throughout the year, just the subtle things. Let's see what he's going to do to make Delaware work a little harder. Vario checks into the game. Leading score off the bench. So Vario is about four points per contest. Gui a long two. Front rim no rebound. The ability to secure it. Playing really smart here this afternoon. Four players for Delaware now with two fouls as the foul discrepancy. Unbelievable as Mutz has been able to convert. Ray high dribbles to the left side. He banked into three earlier. Now driving on Darling to the cup. Missing. Another off there. Bowie will trigger it in with 26 to shoot, 50 on the game clock. Ray, a three-point shot, it's short, but Darling does not box out Ray. Ray, luckily for the Hens, travel. They'll let the clock wind down. It's a as he approaches the arc. Darling defends. Darling has two fouls. Bowie steps up into a two. It's Driving down the lane and getting inside. We've got to do that. We've got to attack the rim or get players in front of the rim and score. 51-45, Pemberton, the three ball, in and out. Bowie working the clock down, 10 seconds as he dribbles left to right, being chased by Darling. Two all-CA first-teamers, Bowie pull up Jay, elbow right, that's hard to stop. Up by Nathan Knight, wow! He came out of nowhere, second leading 
block a blocker in William & Mary history. And Alex three missed everything. And Sheffield with the rebound. Had it just sort of bounced to him right after it banged off the backboard. Marcus top of the key for Delaware. As Parker settles. Loves to get inside. Does so. Too strong. Much another protection for Drexel. He takes advantage of it with that straight line drive with his right hand. Walton, good job using the left. Got to have it. Great use of the shot fake there to get Butler up in the air and a great finish there. Doing the job on the offensive glass. Back up to eight, I should say. And it was Cushing who came in for him and won the game with a three-pointer. On the drive. Yes, Isaac! He, and he drills it home. Man, the Phoenix are hot from three today. Not good news for... Right in front of the table. Had a good look at it. Nicholas Timberlake's jump shot back. So each time Delaware has scored, Towson has had an answer this hand. Here it is to Wilson. Wilson wraps it out to Woodson. Back out to Parker. 19 on the shot clock. Plenty of time to work. Parker drives and gets contact. Can give the Dukes some energy. Lewis directing traffic. Steps back three-pointer. So far with LIU this year, their defense just sort of breaks down too easily. Augusto, tough. And that was on right now. It's tough to see, but. Jackson. Foul by. Again, he is a Mike Gray protege. Charleston seems a little confused with the ability of Nate Darling as a passer as opposed to a scorer. Here's Galloway with a three. An aggressive minded, another nice pass also by Mutz. And McCoy's played 14 minutes. There's Galloway, and that's going to be off the other guard. Does a good job defending without fouling. Coburn wasn't out for long. Quick inbounds play, Coburn. Uh, that little one. Fans filing in here to Trans Coliseum, UNCW, and Delaware on this. You wonder about Anderson's availability really through the rest of the first half. Tucker the mid. Bryce Barnes. Six minutes left in the first half. Van Vliet underneath to Lowy. Ball blocked out of bounds. Stays with. For the triple, no good. Chris Wooten with the rebound in the lane. Wooten will push off of his own dribble. Brings it across the timeline. Left side, up top. McIntosh for the three and good. Ash on the wing, left side. Hunter Mack, who knocked home his first three on a Thursday night in the last six weeks, gives it away to Wooten. In the full dedication to basketball. Their dad, Mark, the head coach at their own lot of Hershey High School. Darius Banks. Staff have done so well. Banks strip. On his way up. The four players in this conference average 20 or more. It's pretty special. Gibson got a squared up look, couldn't hit it in a bit. On the catch and force him to dribble it or deny him the ball. Back door, Hamilton hesitated, waited for Darling, missed his shot. Yeah. Shot shooting 40.9% from the arc. And we told you before, he's leading the whole CA right now. Train oh. from defense time and time again over the last six years under Earl Graham. They lead by one. Reddish to the right side. A high handed lay. Well, there's nobody better on Delaware than Kevin Anderson finding those angles to get to the basket. He's got those long arms and can finish over as he's really feeling it. It's his third three pointer. He made eight in a game down in Florida early on this season. Linson with a nice entry. Their interior post game and see if they can't get some better looks inside before they settle for the long range shot. Sims 0 of 5, make it 0 of 6. Big man cutting wide open to the basket like that. Darling 0 for 6 from the floor, but he does have four assists. Clark with the angle. Defending Pinky Wiley, a tough matchup. He is a quick point guard from Chesterfield High School in Maryland. Miss shot the ticker as Cosby will throw it in left side. To sing, sing. A couple hop steps in the lane. Goss makes it difficult. Shot is. Phillips eyes up. Defended by Darling, crosses over, pulls up from 15, no good. McCoy, the real in the first half. Ganston 
Has it out front, looks at a bench. As he'll start to their offensive set. He'll drive it all the way past the defense, off the glass, no good. Linson there, the putback blocked the Three very quickly, and yeah. ball had been in his hands a whole lot. Speaking of which, Riller trying to get hot. That's long range, and Galloway. Back after throwing it in the contest. 17 to work for the redshirt senior. Ball strip gets it back. He'll fire up to three. High arcing back there. No. Not turning the ball over. Only seven versus Delaware's 11. Conte slips inside. Easy two. Lead back. Delaware up 22 to four. On 11 0 run. Rolling. Contested three. He's over. Draw that offensive foul. Mutz has been incredibly aggressive backing a particular. Backing him and Woods down in particular to start this game. And Sheffield, 352 left to play in the opening half. Hunter Mack brings it front court off of the right wing. He'll take it in the lane. And Justin Mutz gets what's a one out of two. He's got 26 points. Beatrand, wow. He really. Okruz with the right hand. He did not play much. He did not play well. Darling is. One of the reasons he transferred from UAB was because he was perhaps being typecast as a three-pointer, but showed great range. On Saturday. Pemberton gets it inside, and that's a dangerous spot, but Conte, Come on. already 16 fouls for Delaware. We're less than eight minutes in. And now make it seven fouls. This guy's been awful quiet. Stepping back. And how about that? Ray way too strong with a three, but Bowie got a rebound. He'll try it. He's going to go middle. He beat him to the baseline. He got the edge. Fade away. Two hands there to rebound it. Darling carries the rock up in between the circles. Dribbles left off the elbow. Try to go to the no look behind. Coach Fisher, I'm sure, drew something up offensively. Good night. Sets a screen for Hamilton. He drives and is fouled plus one. And the <laughs> Jason Gibson on top of the point guard for the Tigers with the ball in the pick and roll. Sanders. Vayner has his second bucket. And he didn't become eligible until they played Delaware State in December. He had good looks. Darling has had from three today. Just didn't go down. Winter free throw line jumper is good. 30 first half still waiting that 16 minute media timeout whistle. Jasper right past Darling makes quick work of Darling defensively. Delaware does not have a foul to give. Jasper left side four seconds. Jasper to the right side crossover two seconds long three. Jasper and a missed try coming up for Charleston on this possession. Five seconds for Riller. Riller inside draws contact and the foul. The Charge call wrong that they're very hesitant as you described perfectly. Riller, almost a perfect drive, did everything but finish as he got reset. It's at 14. Two minutes left in the first half. Eller up 39-26 to Bennett. Bennett off the window and through from the left block. Well, Nathan's and family from down the shore have made the trip up here to Newark. Cole Swider with that. Dynamic playmaker. You got to keep eyes on him. He's going to score his points, but can they contain the other players? And Galloway, a big part of that. Charleston seems a little confused with the ability of Nate Darling as a passer as opposed to a scorer. Here's Galloway with a three. An aggressive minded. Another nice pass also by Mutz. And McCoy's played 14 minutes. There's Galloway, and that's going to be off the. Exactly how much time was on the shot clock. Got to his sweet spot and knocked it down. 
The answer from Riller is going to be off the front. Of Seven to shoot here. Jalen Ray with three to shoot for Hofstra. Long lefty shot on the way. Back iron butt. In questions to the media, but it's more for your players. Ray over play. Gets the return pass. Hoist uh, the three and nails it. Monte. Bowie for Ray. Five to shoot. Does your Bowie launching on the right wing? He's got Bowie. it. So comfortable at this end of the floor when you have Dejour Bowie just overlooking everything. Just makes it so much easier for Hofstra. Ray, yeah. deep three in front of his bench. Under a minute left of the opening 20 tonight here in our first semifinal. Up top, Bowie raises the front iron. She just is. Kick pass on the near side. And Coburn earns a feed off of his energy. You never think that. <laughs> About a guy in his position, but doing everything he can. Jalen Ray, top of the great continuity here. The ball is swung about six or seven times. Pemberton up top. Whoa. Feeling it. Second, you got to play this out. No fouls. Five to shoot. Kick in the corner. Long three. Rattles out. Uh, react and set up their offense. Linson will set a screen, moving it left with the dribble is Phillips now over his shoulder to Ganson. Ganson will drain the three strip. And that was the one that Ganson hit the three. Down low, Linson against Painter. Drives a baseline. Along the baseline, Ganson. Corner three is no good. Rebound it on the frame. Phillips will drive it to the block. Backs it out to Boggs. Boggs dribbles in. Now to Ganson. Ganson three! Count it! Where and he was able to get comfortable. Uh, he is a big, big time shooter, and it's not so much he does it off the bounce like Riller or Roland. He's a guy that can give you one, two bounce and quickly get into a shot. He's got great floor. Dylan Painter had him pretty well defended right there. They got a double down in the corner on Riller, leaving Miller open. And there, staying on balance, balance absorbing that contact. Galloway trying to square up, Man. and now out. That's long range and Galloway. So back after throwing it into Conte. 17 to work for the redshirt senior. Ball strip gets it back. He'll fire up a three. High arcing back with no to the cry. No changes in either lineup after the whistle. And Bowie has it between the circles to Coburn. Contested three is in. That drops it off to Colin Goss, who seems right now to be in the right place at the right time. Two consecutive, not consecutive times, two times here early on. Coburn trying to make it two consecutive times for three and does so. Oh. Offensive rim to take advantage of that height we have, or their lack of height does Hofstra play the guards. Pemberton, leading scorer with 10. Can't make it 13, but he does follow. There, Bowie will trigger it in with 26 to shoot, 50. On the game clock, Ray, a three-point shot. It's short, but dark. But uh, Delaware's got to be a little bit more aggressive in driving in or dumping inside to Justin Mutz. Pullback, Jay, Bowie, missing. Dump. Driving down the lane and getting inside. We've got to do that. We've got to attack the rim or get players in front of the rim and score. 51-45, Pemberton, the three ball, in and out. They're up 22 to four on the 11-0 run. Rolling, contested three, he's over the corner left side. Both gray squares, ground it out, offense rebound by the Huskies. Straight away rolling, wide open for three, and he misfired, that's the third time. Across the timeline, Nathan up top, left side to Luke Lowy. Luke fires one up from three to top. Delaware's gone zone on two, three. Miguel Iesa, front of the rim, no good. There. Ten on the shot clock for the Tribe. Aesa for three, back of the rim, no. For the triple, no good. Chris Wooten with the rebound in the lane. Wooten will push off of his own dribble. Brings it across the timeline, left side, up top. McIntosh for the three and good. We didn't see in the first meeting. We talked about it at the top uh, when we came on the Elon Sports Vision uh, side, Taylor. Uh, Simon Wright obviously out for the first meeting up in Newark. McIntosh with it in between the circles. This is Wooten. He'll take it down the lane, trying to pitch it up top. Woods, Sheffield, 10 on the shot clock. Mark is halfway down. And he'll move it to McIntosh, now to Pack. Now back up top to Hunter Mack. Now in the corner, left side. Fuller thought about it. Instead, he'll send it away to McIntosh. Now to Pack. Andy will release right side. Draw that offensive foul. Mutz has been incredibly aggressive backing. Uh, 
backing him and Woods down in particular to start this game. And Sheffield. Mack working against Goss. He'll loop it away to Simon Wright. Wright catching at the top of the key. Now the handoff back to McIntosh. Right wing for the three, halfway down to the scorer's table. As McIntosh brings it front court, he'll loop it away to Sheffield. Marcus going down the lane, pitch up top. This is McIntosh for the three and good. Delaware has pushed it back out to a seven-point advantage. This is Sheffield, foul circle left side, up top, right to try to answer. 64-57. McIntosh front court to Sheffield. Marcus in the corner, right side. Wooten for the three, halfway defense. Phoenix have hit five of their last seven. Elon on the offensive end of the floor. Hannah the handoff. McIntosh for the three and good. He's on the season after that one. He leads the CAA. And he's just got such a quick release. Knows how to get it off against bigger opponents and in different in the full dedication to basketball. Their dad, Mark, the head coach at their own lot Hershey High School. Darius Banks from three-point range. But that's the second one that's almost gone down. He's just a little off, and he'll make the adjustment. Richie, he misfires. Banks sends Darling flying out of frame. But it's four in the first half. Harvey. Lord. In the middle of December after the transfer from Nova, found a spot, comfortable spot. Gibson was in rhythm and he nails the three. Up on top, Ray. Four players in this conference average 20 or more. It's pretty special. Gibson got a squared up look, couldn't hit it in a big.